Welcome back to our How to Play As Far As The Eyes series, where we are getting you the basic information you need in order to jump right into the game and start having as much fun escaping the ominous oncoming flood. In this video, we are going to be going over experience, traits, and knowledge, and exactly what all of those do. You'll see that we're in a different window than we normally are. This is our wheel window available right here in the upper right hand corner. And you'll see that we have three pupils as normal. Now in order to give you the best experience, we are starting over with brand new pupils who have no experience yet. All they have are their traits, which were determined when we selected the tribe. In this case, Faza has two interesting attributes. The first one indicates that Faza will consume half as many rations. Unfortunately, Faza will be unable to produce any rations. If you were to attempt to put them in a bakery or a cookhouse to create rations, it would just indicate that they were not qualified to do so. When we look at Honey, we look and see that in this case, Honey has the exact same positive passive but moves at minus one movement point and then Elifi has agile which causes this pupil to take one less turn to harvest an amazing skill but unfortunately also has minus one movement point just like in our first episode one of our characters had elitist and could not harvest anything these traits can massively affect your gameplay Check these traits in the wheel screen, or you can see the traits over the characters simply by their character select screen and hover over their trait icons. Coming back to our character wheel screen, we see that there are a number of masks we can obtain. The masks for each pupil represent a different class. Both are basic classes here at the center and our more advanced specialized class here on the outer rings. To gain experience in our basic class, we'll need to do some basic things like gathering stone or ore. You can see that while we've started our characters, nothing has been gained as far as these trees go. Let's go ahead and have our characters perform some basic tasks and we'll come back and look at what the wheel looks like. <laughs> You can see that we have made some progress here in the center. For instance, Faza was able to build a couple of buildings and now has the passive ability that they receive plus two movement points when going to construct a building. We also had Faza gather some material to give us a plus five on either cereals or wool. For Honey, we had her primarily focus on gathering, and you can see that she's made some progress into the second rank of gathering, but it's Elifi who's really made some progress. Now, we talked about gaining knowledge, and we're going to get into that a little bit more soon, but with this, when you unlock the second rank of a gather skill, you're going to be able to gain 15 to 30 knowledge per harvest and then you're going to be able to increase that if you specialize into one of the classes that are available. Now through the use of editing magic we've gone ahead and gotten Elifi even further into our gathering tree. Once you've reached level 3 so long as you are using the appropriate building to gain experience or so long as you're using the appropriate action to gain experience which you can see by hovering over the advanced class in the mid ring, you'll be able to specialize. And in this case, Alifi is going to specialize into the woodcutter tree. With woodcutter, I'll be able to level up an additional three times and choose every time which ability we're going to get. In this case, we can either get an additional 15 wood per harvest cycle or gain additional knowledge per harvest cycle. These are amazing bonuses that your pupils will gain over time as they continue to perform functions. Talking about knowledge points and how to gain them, we are going to be able to spend them on a few things. Sometimes it's required for a goal. Other times it's required for trade. However, 
this specific use, we're going to talk about research. Now, there are a number of ways you can research, such as by building the council building, but you can actually start to research right away using your caravan. When you have a research building, such as your caravan, set up, all you need to do is click on this button, open knowledge trees and it will show you the appropriate skills that you can unlock using your knowledge and with so many research options available not only in the caravan but in more advanced buildings like the council you're going to have quite a few options to spend those knowledge points on and while you can gain knowledge points from friendly caravans as they pass by typically once you get going the best way to get knowledge is simply by performing the tasks in your given classes which is why I wanted to cover experience, levels, traits, and knowledge all in one go because they're all so interconnected. Now we've gone over quite a bit of information so far and our next video is going to be perhaps the most useful of them all. It's going to be actually moving on from the first area to the next. It'll cover things like prioritizing what to take, what not to take, how to switch goals mid-game. So come back next time for that. And if you've missed any of our other videos, just check out our playlist in the upper right-hand corner. I've left an icon that links you directly to that. In the meantime, I am Nidanoski. If you like these videos, consider sharing, commenting, or liking below. And of course, subscribe if you want to get more content just like this. As always, have fun.